Open waste dumping is a practice where waste is discarded in open areas without proper containment or treatment. People throw away their solid waste without considering its impacts on the environment. That's why heaps of plastics are seen everywhere in our urban centers. This reflects the civic behavior of the community. In Pakistan, such plastic dumpings could be easily seen in every city and village. From urban and industrial areas, plastic moves into drains along with different types of the waste. Such waste not only deteriorate the environment of aquatic ecosystem but also worsen the skinning values of water channels. Sewage drains carry a variety of solid waste in the form of macro and micro plastics. Large pieces of plastics could be observed as floating objects on the water surface of drains. Near the bridges and water divergences, large plastic debris piled up as an island of plastic. Large plastic pieces also convert into smaller and invisible microplastics and ultimately make their way to the rivers. Some cultural and social behaviors of people intensify the plastic pollution like voluntary charity as a food for kites and crows along with polythene bags the polythene bags as a single use plastic not only the problem of pakistan but also common among developing countries in rivers some of the plastic debris deposit along the river banks and disturb the aquatic and landscape ecosystem in upstream areas of barrages and dams we can observe floating plastic trash on water surface this is a big challenge for the conservation of our aquatic life and ecosystem University of Punjab is always striving for the solution of environmental problems. College of Earth and Environmental Sciences with the collaboration of Higher Education Commission Pakistan started a comprehensive project to highlight the impacts of plastic pollution in river valley and chana. Professor Dr. Sajid Rashid Ahmed, Dr. Abdul Qadir and their team has taken initiative for this national cause during preliminary survey of both rivers several sites were marked and selected for spatial and seasonal sampling these field studies were conducted during high and low flow season the microplastics were collected using metro trawl the samples were transferred into glass bottles with detailed sampling codes at the same time different water quality parameters were also studied in the field condition using aqua read probe for plasticizers triplicate grab water samples were collected and stored in amber glass bottles for further analysis microplastic deposited along the shoreline were collected using the quartrates from top surface of the sediments every site was sampled for fishes using different types of nets length and weight of collected fishes were measured to determine the impacts of plastics on ecosystem invertebrates were also sampled including prawns crabs freshwater mussels rat tail larvae and chironomus larvae large debris of styrofoam pesticide bottles and packaging material are coming from local as well as from transboundary sources 
these transboundary plastics indicating that this is not our national issue but a global problem. All collected samples of water in sediments were analyzed for microplastics through wet digestion, density separation and filtration. The filtered samples were further subjected to microplastic counting through microscope. A variety of microplastics such as fibers, sheets, fragments, styrofoam were observed using FTIR and some of the results have been published in well-reputed international research journals. College of Earth and Environmental Sciences, University of Punjab always takes the lead role in creating awareness among the masses to awaken the consciousness about plastic management. SEAS organized several seminars and conferences in which national and international speakers shared their experience. Assalamu alaikum. It is, I must thank you, Dr. Saab, for inviting me. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you very much for providing the opportunity. As of 2010, approximately uh, 12.7 million tons. So we've got beads, fibers, and fragments, and these can be broken down into different categories. Agriculture, 8 million tons. Building and construction, 81 million tons, and other electronics and others. Uh, our college is also working uh, on it. You can see the screen itself. Uh, you can see that almost 700 species, marine species, are to be impacted. Those policies. That's the biggest challenge. The second is there are some general principles which are followed in the developed world and many developing countries. And they are very common. And I think these plastic pollution has been increasing in our surrounding environment tremendously. It's due to the lack of awareness about plastic waste management and non-environment friendly behavior. Let's break the silence and work together for plastic pollution management in our society. The plastic pollution problem does not start in the middle of the ocean and it does not start in our rivers. It starts on land. Solutions should be found on land for its source. This is the right time to educate people about the harmful impacts of plastic pollution and join people and organizations who are working for a sustainable environment. If we fail to do so, then future generations will never forgive us. Creating less plastic is not the solution. We need to be cleaning up our plastic mess around the world every day. Plastic pollution के खात्मे के लिए काला जो फर्तान वाले बहुत सारे जामे अपनियाँ के हम आंधों और प्लास्टिक पोल्यूशन को खत्म करने के लिए मिलजुल कर काम करें।